Another Aramont classic. This is why I don't claim these dirty fucking Africans. I never fucking will. Fuck every one of them. Texas man turns himself in after three children found dead. Now, they don't call him an American. Right on. And they don't call him an African. And they should have fucking pointed that out. A Texas man turned himself into law enforcement Thursday night after found after police found three young children dead and a woman with a gunshot wound to her head in an apartment. Police said the children were believed to be ages five, two, and an infant. Texas police officers found their bodies on a welfare check at an apartment in the city about 50 miles southeast of Houston. The woman was in stable condition and receiving treatment at Galveston Hospital, according to police press release. Her relationship to the children was not immediately clear. Texas City Police Lieutenant Kenneth Brown told Houston Chronicle that the woman is unable to speak to the investigators because of her severe injuries. A motive is under investigation. A motive is under investigation. It's a very intense scene over there, he told the Chronicle. Everybody involved is either deceased or injured. Houston Police Ben Starr said the suspect called authorities late Thursday saying he wanted to surrender. Authorities took him into custody peacefully in Houston but did not identify. Police in Texas City earlier Thursday identified the suspect as Juniad Hashem Mahmoud, 27 years old. I'm going to have this damn picture of this sorry fucking bastard. Now, everybody always want to be like, these are our African brothers and sisters. Uh, you know, they need our support. They need our love. Let me tell you what. I bless those that bless me, and I curse those that curse me. And this man is cursing us, because this is the stranger within us, right, who's able to get high above, okay? I'm, I'm sure that this dude could probably do things that other black people were not allowed to do. It happens all the time. It happens, bearded or non-bearded, okay? The stranger, can you fucking dig, will be allowed to do things that real niggas Real people of the most high just can't do. And this dirty motherfucker right here, every single time I see something like this, every single time I, 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 I read something like this, I have to remind myself that these are not our people. These are the same people who gave our people up. Okay? These are them. That's who they are. That's who they are. And I don't respect them. I don't have no love. I have nothing for them. Nothing. The only, the only Africans I fuck with are the ones that know that I fuck with them. And I've been fucking with them for years. Okay? Can you dig it? Okay? They're the only ones. Otherwise, in that, if I don't know you, fuck you. And it's because of dudes like him. And then you got the audacity to talk about how pathetic black Americans are. You ain't shit. You guys ain't shit. It's going to be called Age Aramout Dirty Ass African. So if you can't take the heat, please don't come into my kitchen. Because it's about to be hot. This motherfucker right here. It was the same dirty ass motherfuckers just like this. Who sold black people to white people. You understand? And then when the going got hard, what did they do? They themselves capitulated to the white man. Same thing he did in this instance. Man. They practiced the same shit no matter where they go. They are evil and wicked. And you got black people over here talking about we Africans. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I am not one of them. Word is bond. I am not one of them. Just like I ain't no dirty ass American. Might tell you I am for reasoning of you might say what's your nationality and i'll tell you i'm american to to not confuse you but i don't i don't fly the banister of being no american i'm just me it's the black man however i'm no more this than i am that and they both are evil wicked people and this is just this is just further testament to they are not your people. They don't care about you. They don't love you. Who's to say that this wasn't a regular black woman from America with her babies? We don't know. that. We, you can't say that those kids are his. You don't know that. 
You don't know that. You don't know that. He was probably just fucking this chick right on, and she probably broke it off with him, and he couldn't take it, couldn't handle it. I said, I know what I'm going to do. It's always a suck-ass nigga. Always a suck-ass nigga. Pussy-ass African dude. And he killed the, killed the babies. You feel me? I pray when this dude gets to jail. I pray. I pray they do the worst things possible to this man. And then kill him. And then kill him. And then kill him. I almost never feel nothing when people do something to the babies. Like, whenever they get what's coming to them... People could be like, well, the chick did this. He should have only done that to the chick. Then he should have came in there and killed that chick. And that should have been that. Her life is upside down. Complete, and, you know, people might be, able to, might be able to say, well, she called that upon herself. I don't know what happened. But I know that what he did was wickedly evil. I know what he did was wickedly evil. I know that... If I see this nigga, you feel me? You know, right? It's, it's on a popping. That's how I. That's how I get down. You feel me? If for some odd reason they don't, they don't have a, 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 a strong enough reason to pick up charges on dude. You feel me? I, I pray one of them real Texas goons get a hold of this nigga. I pray somebody get a hold of his ass right now while he locked up though. Pray he bite off his tongue and die. I pray that nigga eat something and choke to death on. I want him. I want his ass out of here. Praying and praying that on this nigga as we speak. Fucking chump. Anyway, y'all. Mm. Just another dirty one.